Here's a quick news update in a minute for Trinidad and Tobago. The UNC has strongly criticized Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley's claim of saving Trinidad and Tobago, labeling it the cruelest prank on April Fool's Day. Rowley's endorsement of Energy Minister Stuart Young's criticism of former Energy Minister Kevin Ramnarine's column led to this backlash. Rowley highlighted his involvement in economic measures, including restructuring Petrotrin, managing the COVID-19 pandemic, tackling violent crime, and modernizing tax collection systems. However, the UNC argued that Rowley's tenure has seen the country's highest murder rates and economic setbacks, contrary to his claims of saving the nation. They pointed out economic achievements during Kamla Persad B. Cesar's administration, questioning Rowley's narrative of progress. A relaxing Easter Monday at Palmist Park in San Fernando turned scary when a swarm of bees attacked visitors. The bee attack injured at least seven people, including a kite vendor, and forced the closure of a nearby car show and petting zoo event. Emergency services took those injured to the San Fernando General Hospital. The news today is brought to you by Rod Therapy Center. Treat yourself to a comprehensive menu of spa and a aesthetic services designed for both men and women. Piarco International Airport is back to normal operations after completing runway maintenance. Night flights resumed as scheduled with a Caribbean Airlines flight departing for Guyana at 10 p.m. Previously, flights were halted between 10 p.m. and 6 a.m. throughout March to allow for the project's completion. We give quick news updates every day, so follow us for more.